Hey guys, it's Caitlin. What's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a really fun shopping video tag for you today. And I first saw this by Sarah Rose. I really love her. And the tag was started by Emily Noel. Basically the tag is, is if you had $1,000 to spend at Sephora, what would you buy? And personally, I don't like Sephora, so I think what I'm gonna do for this video, because I haven't filmed the shopping portion yet, I'm either gonna do Ulta or I'm gonna do whatever website I wanna do, so we'll see. But I'm not actually buying any of these products, it's just for fun. I feel like a lot of you guys really like my shopping online videos, so it's not real, but you know what? It's really fun to add stuff to your cart and just kind of make a wish list. We all do it, and it might not be the greatest because you end up really wanting to buy it, but I don't have a thousand dollars to just spend right now, so as most people don't. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. All right, guys, per usual, no makeup on. <laughs> Whenever I do shopping videos, I like always am in my bed. I'm not in my bed this time, but I'm usually just chilling without any makeup on. And I did throw on a robe because it's tradition. Uh, and I have a baseball shirt on, so you know, the floral robe really uh, complements the baseball shirt. So Anyway, so I know that most people are doing Sephora. I'm gonna do Ulta because I just like Ulta way more than Sephora. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I have not looked at all. I have no idea what I'm gonna pick out other than there's one hair thing that I know I'm going to put in my cart, probably do that first. The rest of it is just gonna be browsing for fun. I hope you guys are excited and let's dive in. So the first cool thing that I see on the homepage is that if you spend $75, you get a free tote, which is pretty cool. The tote is really nice looking, just not that we're actually spending $1,000, that's still pretty cool. So the hair thing that I mentioned that I really want, I can't remember, but I saw it on TikTok and it's like the, oh, it's right there. It's this Chi hair curler. And it like sucks your hair in and curls it and it looks so easy and it's really expensive as you can tell. It's not supposed to damage your hair or like yank your hair out or anything. So we will add that to the cart. That's the first thing. Let's look at new arrivals. Oh, there actually is another mascara that has really caught my eye, which is from Urban Decay. And so if we see that, I will add it to my cart. I like that they have masks. They have tie-dye masks, that's awesome. I always forget that they have BH Cosmetics. Also, did I, don't, I didn't know that Ulta carried Ofra. That is new information to me, I think. Oh, see, there is the mascara that I want. Coming soon, is it sold out, I wonder? I know people already have it, so I'm not sure about that kind of disappointing. Uh, let's see what else they have from Ofra. You guys know how I feel about highlighters. They're my kryptonite star island highlighter. Do they have any swatches? Of course they don't. That's just rude. So on their website you can see some swatches. Why would you not give Ulta these swatches? Why? I don't understand why. Um, To be honest it kind of like does not look that good. Like it just kind of looks like powder. I don't know like there's not much sheen to it like it's not really doing anything for me this highlighter looks kind of nice this is their space baby from Nikki tutorial Ooh, that looks like holographic it looks kind of weird though doesn't it kind of look like alien highlighter but like in the best way possible it's like very lavender -y. I wouldn't expect that I don't know if I'm feeling that either. I kind of love it, but I kind of don't want it on my face either. I wish they had face swatches, because this doesn't do anything to me. Like, that doesn't tell me anything. I need a cheek swatch. Okay, I think we're done with the Ofra highlighters. I feel like I've heard good things about them, but I need to know a little bit more. So this is another Ofra product, the Flex, Flexi, Slick cream wow what am i having a stroke jeez flexi slick cream wait oh my god what is wrong with me flexi slick lip cream why was that so hard for me i actually really like the buzz color it's very like warm terracotta pink let's add that to our cart let's go to skincare i do really like the ordinary i have tried the hyaluronic acid and i do like it so i think i'm gonna add that to my cart and they're so affordable too like seven dollars for this are you kidding 
I've also tried this one before and I enjoyed that one as well. So another one I'm gonna add. That one's a little bit more money but still extremely affordable for a skincare product. Just clicking on the search button makes me want to add some shape tape into my cart. This is my shade, it's just the fair one with yellow undertones, which I have really pink undertones, but I feel like the yellowness combats it, so that's always the shade that I get. But I feel like I can always use that, and I'm trying to avoid looking at my total. I wanna just shop until I feel like I've reached $1,000, like I'm curious how long it's gonna take me. I feel like it cannot take me that long. It's so easy to spend a lot of money on Ulta. It's so easy. Let's look at nail polish, specifically Pacifica. Specifically Pacifica, say that five times fast, holy crap. I love painting my nails, but I swear my nails always, they hate it. Like my nails always end up like chipping and peeling, but it's not gonna stop me. I really like this, a uh, Desert Princess. I don't know, I'm really into this color, you guys, on my lips, on my face, on my nails, on my body, like, love this color, it's like this warm red brown pink, love it, gonna add that, ooh, I also love a rosy pink color, we'll add that as well, even though I probably have a million of that in my collection already, and they have Zoya polish, oh no, we're in trouble, Saint Metallic Periwinkle, <sighs> add it to my cart immediately, this is making me kind of sad that I'm not like actually buying any of this stuff. <laughs> Let's go to the crystal gloss coat. Oh, there's only two. So I actually have this Milky Way top coat. It's supposed to be a top coat, but it is full opacity. It's literally stunning. Stunning. I've mentioned it several times on my channel. If I can find the clip of it, I will add it in here. It's so holographic and beautiful. So I think I am going to add the other one ooh hollow gloss why am i putting so much nail polish in my cart let's add it i want to look at bullet lipsticks you know what let's look at does becca does becca have lipsticks i don't know i don't really buy high-end bullet lipsticks i actually do want to add a champagne pop mini i just want the 22 dollars one because it has taken me like five years to go through a big size pan and I'm not even done yet. So okay, they actually do have some lipsticks. I wonder if they're any good. I have not heard about these at all. So I went to the Becca website just to see if they have lip swatches because again, like how is that not a thing on Ulta's website? That color would make anyone's teeth yellow. I know for a fact that girl's gotta be photoshopped. Oh, that color is beautiful. Who's who is this helping, Becca? Who is who is that? What is that doing for anyone? I although it doesn't have a swatch on a pale person's face, I think that shade's really beautiful. So I'm gonna add souffle to my cart if they have it. So a cool cocoa pink. That sounds delightful. So we got some lipstick. We got let's look for maybe foundation. You know what? Let's look up e.l.f. I just want to see what they have. I know they have the hydrating concealer that I've been really wanting to try. So let's add that to the cart. So Fair Rose is fair with pink undertones. I feel like that would be pretty close. Let's just add that. All right, I want to see more e.l.f. Let's see what else they have to offer. I really want to try some of these palettes that they have. I've heard good things about these palettes. They're relatively pretty affordable. <gasps> Look at these eyeshadow brushes. Look how pretty they are. $25, Elf. Are you getting crazy on us? I'm going to add it because uh, why not? Why do I low-key want this? This is like a weird looking sponge. I'm going to add it. It looks interesting. It looks like perfect for like right underneath the eyes. I have wanted the purple bite-sized eyeshadow since the beginning so I will add this one to my cart it just seems so fun and I probably wouldn't use it that much but again this video is just for fun I can always use more makeup wipes this is the one that I buy I buy the two pack so let's add those that's kind of boring but like I need them so 
I wouldn't mind trying this formula, but to be honest, it's not really exciting me. Let's look at some Urban Decay. This palette is calling my name though. I've seen pictures of this and it just looks really beautiful. I like that the a lot of the purples are leaning more towards the warm end. I love warm toned eyeshadow, so I feel like this could be really wearable. And just like sometimes when I wear cool toned eyeshadows, like I feel like I look dead you know so um i'm gonna add this this looks really fun i don't really think i have a palette like this i they have some color pop on here don't they Ooh, i do actually really want to try the pretty fresh stuff maybe i'll maybe i'll put this in my cart the tinted uh, moisturizer i have no idea what shade i would be i'm just gonna click the lightest one which is fair too and I'm going to add this liquid liner too. I've been wanting to try different liners. I have used the Milani iTech Extreme for years. It's the first like felt tip liner I ever bought and I just stuck with it. And I really like it, but I feel like it's good to kind of like experience other products out there. I have one of the blush sticks from ColourPop and I really enjoy it. I love wearing it in the summer. So if you guys have your eye on it, you should get it. I have the color Cool It, and I'm really, really happy with it. I really love the lippy sticks. I have one color that I can't remember, Brink. That's the one I have. Of course, Terracotta. Love that color, as I've said like three times in this video. So let me maybe add another one of these. I'm really loving this one, Love Life Matte Brownish Red. I think I'm going to go with it and add that. For some reason that I don't know, the lip crayon, of all things, is calling my name. I feel like I would never buy this, but I don't know why I can just, like, feel, like, silky smooth, like, I don't know, I just, like, have this feeling that it would be, like, a perfect summertime color. It's a sheer pink. I'm kind of into it. Just, like, pull it out of your bag, you know? Just like that sound effect and everything. Um, let's add this to the cart. All right, I feel like we need to look at the cart. What's your guesses? Wait, before I look. Well, I feel like 500 maybe. Is that what we're... Oh, 400. I was close. I was kind of close. We're not even halfway done. Oh my gosh, I gotta stop being so picky and just add stuff to my cart. I'm trying to think of the brands at Ulta. Why am I having such a hard time what is this brand i think they're cruelty free aren't they so i went to logical harmony's website just to see if this brand is cruelty free and she has an article talking about some of the most popular products i don't know if this brand is cruelty free it's not really coming up when i search for it but it is giving me some ideas i forgot about dose of colors i've definitely wanted to try their liquid lipsticks for a while even though I'm trying not to buy liquid lipsticks uh, but this isn't real so it's fine right <laughs> the matte liquid lipstick and then they have the lip gloss I might want to try both of those I have not tried anything from dose of colors ever so I think it'd be really cool oh my gosh they have a try it on stop it right now how is this gonna work okay no way <laughs> This is amazing. Ooh, bright purple, yes. Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, this is making me not wanna buy any of them <laughs> because none of them look good on me right now. I kinda like this purple color. Would I wear it? I don't know. So let's add the plum color to our bag. They have foundation try on. Why? You cannot be serious. I am, no, I'm not clicking on those, mm -mm, not going to be that, no, no. Whose idea was this? They have eyeshadow. All right, we've, we've got to move on from this. So going back to Joseph Colors, I did want to add a lip gloss, probably just like a lighter color is more than likely something that I would go for, for an everyday kind of color. So this is a nude beige. So the Can You Not is right there. It's very pink. It's I wouldn't call that a beige personally, but I like it. So that one I will add to my cart. And they have foundation. 
What kind of finish is it? It's a lightweight with medium to full coverage that delivers a blurring effect which reduces the appearance of fine lines and skin imperfections. So I like the word lightweight, but full to medium to full coverage might not be my thing. I might just do the fair with neutral undertones. I'm gonna add that because I honestly wouldn't mind trying that either. Let's look at what other makeup we are missing. I don't know. What do we want to look at? Maybe some eyelashes. I always buy really cheap eyelashes. I really love lashes with a clear band and not something super thick because I feel like that is key when you want a more natural look. I always get comments saying like, I love those lashes. How do you get so good at applying them? I'm not that good at applying them. They're just really flexible. I buy the $1 ones from Shop Miss A. These actually look really similar to the ones that I get. To, literally, these look so identical to the ones that I get from Shop Miss A. I get the Alexis ones for a dollar at Shop Miss A. Let's add this to the cart. And I also have been wanting to try a new lash glue. I use the Duo Clear one, but I've heard good things about this Kiss eyelash adhesive because it's like a easier application. The Duo one is like a squeeze tube and sometimes it kind of like gushes out and I'm not a fan of that. So let me add this as well. It's only $5. So we have lashes, we have lash glue, we have foundation, we have concealer, we have a bunch of nail polish, we have a bunch of lip products, we have a hair thing. It's like, what else do we need? Like, why is this so difficult for me, <laughs> for me to like get to a thousand dollars? That's so crazy. Let me go back to lip gloss and see what else there is to offer. I do want to add some NYX butter glosses. The ones that I have are old, so I do want to repurchase them. I have Tiramisu. Oh, what's the other one? It's like Madeline or something. Do they not have it? Oh my god, I love that one. That's very tragic. They at least have T Oh, no, it's right there. We're good. I thought it was in alphabetical order. I kind of want to add this marshmallow color. It is more cool toned. You might look a little dead while you're wearing it, but I'm kind of like interested, so I'm gonna add this one to my cart. I really wanna expand my gloss collection. It's just something that I have really been wanting to try more of, expand my collection. It's just been something new that I've been loving. Um, so let's look at these Lux glosses from ColourPop. I do prefer a lighter gloss, and I don't like glitter. Like I can see glitter in this one. This might be a pretty color. It's, it's a little too pink but I'm gonna, I'm gonna add it. I'm thinking that's probably it for glosses, although I do wanna shop some Anastasia. Let's do that. To be bougie, I'm gonna add the Brow Wiz. I always feel like you can buy very affordable eyebrow products and have them pretty much do the exact same thing, but if I were to be given like $1,000 to just spend on whatever, I feel like I would want to explore more high-end options because that's not usually what I buy. I just feel like you don't need to spend $23 on eyebrows. Like you just don't. Like e.l.f. has very affordable, good eyebrow options. Also e.l.f. has a clear eyebrow gel for $2. So why would you spend $22 on a clear eyebrow gel? I don't, I don't know. I don't support Morphe anymore, which is kind of sad, but I just don't. I feel like they just had too many shady things going on and I'm not a fan. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want to maybe try Lime Crime. I used to support them a really long time ago and then kind of a bunch of drama, speaking of drama, a bunch of drama happened around them and they were really shady and like people's credit card information was getting stolen. So I stopped supporting them. However, the main person in charge of Lime Crime back then, I don't think owns it or is a part of the brand at all anymore. Um, so I need to do some more research before I like actually purchase anything from them. Let me add this cute palette. This is kind of fun. I'm kind of into like the retro-y old style color palette going on. It's kind of expensive. 40, 38, $40 for eight shadows. That's, that's a little crazy. What other eyeshadow palettes do we want? I can I kind of am drawn to the Honey palette also. I feel like it's kind of limiting, but again, I love warm eyeshadows, so I feel like it's something I actually would wear. I'm gonna add that too. So now I have two 
um, naked palettes in my cart. Let me look at highlighter. Have we added a highlight? We added champagne pop, but I don't think we've added anything else. Becca is the queen of highlighting. So let me look at this liquefied light highlighter. Honestly, the description has already sold me. The uh, name of this one is Creativity Soft Golden Pearl that reflects peachy pink. So something that is like a champagne-y golden, like has a little bit of warmth, but also is a little peachy. So good. I've heard good things about these enhancer drops. So the description is they are ultra concentrated illuminating drops that can be used to create a buildable highlight or an all over glow. I'm kind of into that, although the colors seem kind of weird to me. Right, let me add this one. Let me look at the bag. What do you guys think we're at? I'm thinking like 600, over 600 is what I'm thinking. Oh, we're at 700. Okay, we are getting there. Like what else? Maybe another hair tool or something? I actually, there is a hairspray that I really enjoy and it's from, um, oh, what's it? Paul Mitchell. The brand is Neuro, but it is owned by Paul Mitchell. There it is. So it is a protectant hairspray. So it acts as a heat protectant and it's also a hairspray. It, I feel like it protects my hair. It smells really good and it also holds my hair in place. So I will add that to bag and it's $23. Kind of expensive for a hairspray. Maybe I want to try some other products. This is a Neuro Lift Volume Foam. Sounds kind of cool. So if you buy two, you get one free. So that's cool. So we will add that one and let's add another thing. Maybe we would just add the finish style spray. That has pretty good reviews. Let's add that. Let's look at Tarte. I like Tarte for a lot of products, but definitely don't like them for their eyeshadow. They're just kind of chalky. I do really like the Lights Camera Lashes, so let me add that to my cart. I've always enjoyed this mascara, um, but it is kind of expensive, and there is a CoverGirl one that I really love, and maybe I'll add that to my cart as well because it's getting kind of old. Let's see if I can find the mascara called the exhibitionist I'm pretty sure yep right here I really like this mascara yeah nothing else is jumping out at me Let, let's see what our total is oh my gosh I feel like now I'm just like pulling teeth I cannot get it to a thousand dollars we're almost at 800 all right I'm gonna look for hair tools because we gotta we gotta get this going you guys are gonna watch this video is gonna be like an hour long I have been wanting a new curling iron I have the wands like without the clamp but I feel like I kind of want to try the clamping ones I used to not be a fan of them but when you have short hair it's really hard to like hold on to pieces as you're curling them I'm just gonna add this one it seems to have good reviews it's 130 dollars let's do that so it's a one and one quarter inch I feel, feel like because my hair is short I probably do the one inch one let me look up derma e I really like their skincare I have tried their vitamin e concentrated serum right here I'm gonna add that I forgot about them so yeah let me add some things from them I always want to buy more of their stuff but it is kind of expensive this sounds kind of interesting to me this is a microderm abrasion scrub I could be into that great reviews I'm also kind of into this vitamin C intense night cream so I'm gonna add that as well now I'm just like I'm just on a roll now there is one more thing I can think of and then we'll check our cart I am NOT a self tanner at all I don't do it I kind of just like to celebrate my paleness however if I were to do some self tanning I would want to try loving tan because they are cruelty free and I think they're vegan and I kind of wouldn't mind like trying it out let me add the applicator mitt so we've got a two hour express and we also have like I think the regular one so I probably want to do the two hour express because I don't want to be waiting around all day um I can you put any any skin tone can do this or maybe maybe I should stick to the yeah I probably do this one and do a medium very light tan is probably what I would want so let me add that and let's look at our cart we've got to be done okay we are over a thousand dollar range finally oh my goodness that took so long we have a variety of products we have self tanner we have skincare we have two different 
hair styling tools. We have two mascaras. We've got a bunch of different Neuro Paul Mitchell finishing sprays for your hair. I guess I was like into hair today or something. We've got a lot of Becca products. I think we had about four eyeshadow palettes. We've got some brow stuff. I had a bunch of lip glosses and a couple of lipsticks. So many things, eyelashes, eyelash glue, several different foundations, several different concealers. Oh my goodness, so many things. It's crazy how much you can get for $1,000. I feel like if I actually placed this order, I'd be so overwhelmed. And we got nail polish, so that's pretty cool. But if I had actually placed this order, I think I, I would be so overwhelmed with the amount of makeup that it would it would scare me. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you had like no limit to spend at Ulta or Sephora, what would you guys buy? I would love to hear from you. I apparently just want to buy everything. Every category, I want a little something. So I hope you guys enjoyed this shop with me, this chill shopping video. Hope you enjoyed. Give it a like if you did. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.